the purpose of Erasmus Plus project, improving skills in laboratory practice for agri-food specialists in Eastern Europe, is to train specialists for laboratories of agri-food sector. Most of activities are devoted to the practical work of students. As part of the project, training laboratories were established at the universities. Members of consortium, which were equipped with the modern laboratory equipment, purchased with the project grant. In these laboratories, students of pilot groups of the laboratory practice course are trained under the supervision of teachers who have completed internship at European partner universities at the framework of Egg Lab project. Now a word to the universities. An educational and scientific PCR diagnostic laboratory was established at Summa National Agrarian University within the framework of Erasmus Plus project EGLAB. According to the project, high-tech equipment was purchased for a sum of 21,000 euros. Among the equipment there is an amplifier or PCR machine, sterile ultraviolet box, centrifuge, horizontal chamber for DNA separation in agarose gel, ultraviolet beam transit terminator, thermostat, rotator, vacuous aspirator, video recording system, a set of mechanical dispenser, as well as the computers and refrigerators. The university has allotted premises and made repairs for the amount of 5,000 euros. The educational and scientific laboratory of PCR diagnostics operates for the involvement of scientific and pedagogical workers, PhD students, masters and students of university in carrying out fundamental researches and performance of applied developments on priority of scientific and innovative activity, formation of skills for work with difficult laboratory equipment, carrying out molecular, biological and genetic research. Laboratory research is performed in the following areas. Crop market selection, the use of DNA marker closely linked to the loci that determine the available economic characteristics of plants. Genetic of plant immunity, detection of infectious diseases. Isolation of genetic material, cloning of genes and their fragments. Diagnosis and identification of GMOs in sowing and planting material, feed and food. Study of genetic basis of phenotypic reliability of molecular level to identify chromosome loci. Determination of genetic diversity of biological objects and phylogenetic relatedness at the level of varieties, species and genera. Genome mapping for more accurate genetic certification of plant varieties. The main objectives of the laboratory are Conducted laboratory and practical classes for students at a high scientific, methodological and technical levels. Support of the implementation of scientific work of students, PhD students and professors. Promoting the quality of training for specialists in agronomy through the implementation of practical and creative components of the educational content. The laboratory is equipped with a visual aids, technical teaching aids, stands, sectional cabinets for instrument storage, utensils, consumable and visual aids, air hood for working with reagents. It promotes conducting scientific seminars, scientific schools, scientific conferences, symposia and congresses, develops the necessary scientific and methodological materials for the educational process in accordance with the current and future areas of educational and scientific work of the university. The laboratory is a base for laboratory classes for students of the educational program Agronomy within the following disciplines – Cellular and Molecular Biology, Genetic Engineering, Molecular Virology, Instrumental Methods of Analysis, Diagnostics and Identification of GMOs DNA Certification, Biotechnology in AIC, Students study methods of molecular biology, DNA isolation, PCR, DNA separation by gel electrophoresis. Villa Cerkva National Agrarian University takes an active part in realization of Erasmus Plus project, improving skills in laboratory practice for agri-food specialists in Eastern Europe, so-called AgLab. Within the framework of the project, together with the working group, specialized master's program and the curriculum of the master's specialization laboratory practice were created. From the second semester of 2018 and 19, master's students of the specialization began their pilot training. 
Every year, the faculty requires 10 students to study in pilot groups. The Educational Scientific Laboratory of Molecular Diagnostic was built and equipped thanks to the grant of EGLE project and co-financing of Bilacerkva National Agrarian University. In the laboratory, there are theoretical and practical trainings. In the lecture room, teachers theoretically work in new material. In the lecture room, teachers theoretically work on new material. Organization and activities of laboratories, structure and organization of laboratory service of Ukraine, mechanism of interlaboratory cooperative tests, biosafety, biorisks, programs, regulations and laws of laboratory work in the study of microbiological indicators of pathogens. Scientific research of infectious diseases, determination of toxin residues and is carried out by ELISA as students, PhD students and teachers. The laboratory conducts practical training in the discipline laboratory diagnostics of infectious diseases, in particular the selection and identification of pathogens from pathological and biological material, raw materials, products of animal origin. Procedures for the quality of laboratory diagnostics are also studied. Verification, research quality control system, programs, regulations and law of laboratory work in the study of microbiological indicators and pathogens. Cooperation between the Ukrainian laboratories and universities of other countries was also developed. Teachers and the students of our universities have the opportunity to pass the internship abroad within the project. Tools for sustainable cooperation between universities and existing laboratories continue to be used. Laboratory staff are included in the training process. Practical courses are held between laboratories and enterprises. An international platform has been created for the constant exchange of information between laboratory specialists and university teachers. Together with the other project participants, a manual on the basics of the laboratory practice was written. Now we are in the laboratory of genetic analysis at the Department of Animal Breeding, Genetics and Biotechnology, Faculty of Animal Husbandry and Aquatic Bioresources of the University of Life and Environmental Sciences of Ukraine. This laboratory was established using the funds of Erasmus Plus project AgLab. The total price of the equipment, which is here, is approximately 60,000 euros. Thanks to Erasmus Plus project, we had the opportunity to train our specialists in different European institutions. So, one of the participants of this project, associate professor of our department Natalia Sviridenko, was in Lyon and had training there. Now we can go and see how students with the specialists of the department are engaged in the work. During these classes, students have to determine the DNA of farm animals. This work gives our students the opportunity to master very unique techniques and after that they will be able to work in laboratories both in Kyiv and in other cities of Ukraine. Natalia and students deal with DNA isolation. Please say a few words about the work you are doing now. Now students have to isolate DNA from biological material, which will be then loaded into the amplifier in the another department. Then the amplification of the already isolated DNA will be performed. Lviv National University of Veterinary Medicine and Biotechnology participates in EU project Erasmus+, improving skills in laboratory practice for agri-food specialists in Eastern Europe. Let me introduce Professor Marian Simonov, who will tell you about the educational process under this program. First of all, on the behalf of the Department of Veterinary and Sanitary Inspection, I would like to thank the project for the opportunity to improve the scientific and technical facility of our department. In particular, we purchased equipment for ELISA test. Students actively use this equipment during their studies, as well as PhD students and university professors use it in their research work. In particular, now there is a laboratory lesson for students where they have the opportunity to master the method of quantitative determination of the hormones content in the cow's milk. Samples are being prepared to determine the hormone in milk. Application of control samples.
incubation of samples. Washing the tablet. Reading the results. Also, within the project, we received a professional blender homogenizer, which allows to prepare very high-quality meat samples for further research. Odessa National Academy of Food Technologies is a leading higher educational institution in Ukraine, which opens wide opportunity for its graduates. The Department of Milk, Oil, Fat Products and Beauty Industry is training masters within the educational program Quality Control and Safety in the Food Industry. This program was implemented as a part of Erasmus Plus project, ECLAB. Thanks to the fruitful cooperation of scientists of the Academy and the managers of EGLAB project, the latest equipment of quality control and food safety was purchased for the Department of Milk, Oil, Fat Products and Beauty Industry. Students of the department are actively engaged in the research activity during classes. This equipment allows to expand significantly the scope of scientific research at the department. Students, PhD students and young scientists control the physical, chemical and microbiological quality indicators of raw material, semi-finished and finished products. In particular, in fruitful cooperation between students and teachers, products with specified properties are developed. For example, products for people of different ages, children, adults, products for prevention and treatment of systemic diseases, products for people of different professional orientation. Students' interest in research is constantly growing. The installed equipment makes it possible to control microbiological indicators of food quality and safety, to determine the types of microorganisms used in the technological process of their production, to establish compliance of microflora in foodstuffs with the regulatory requirements as well as to identify extraneous microflora. In addition, scientists of the department have the opportunity to develop new fermentation compositions for the production of fermented food. Students enrolled in the educational program Quality Control and Safety in the Food Industry have the opportunity to share experiences with foreign partners through the international internship at EU universities, participation in international scientific and practical conferences. Such opportunities are also provided by the Erasmus Plus project. The combination of acquired professional competences, practical skills and experience allows graduates to be competitive in the labor market, to occupy leading positions in food companies and to implement their own scientific developments.